Hey guys, welcome to another video from Overbyte Gaming, and today I am wanting to talk about something that's been in the sort of news lately, and that is the Atari VCS. Now, what this is is a crowdfunded uh, retro console produced by Atari themselves, or what is now Atari, because that's gone through a few cells uh, since the good old days when they crashed the video game stock market, and they produced this this console for lack of a better term and it's got a hundred Atari classics on it and well, Atari and console and arcade machine classics I should say a reimagining of missile command then you get an option for a subscription service which will give you access to another thousand Atari games and uh, apparently it can also play Fortnite yay so I mean, we've seen a lot of companies do this recently, where you've had Nintendo produce uh, Mini NES, Mini Snares, and you've had the Sega Genesis, Stroke Mega Drive, and also the PlayStation. And they've, they've, you know, they've been sort of received with mixed levels of success. The PlayStation One, in particular, uh, was a bit sort of pooped on because it didn't run the games as well as the original console, which I think is a fair enough criticism. Uh, but they, you sort of, a hundred quid ish. Uh, this one, however, the Atari VCS, uh, there's two tiers. Um, the first tier is going to be about $250. And there, there is differences between the two, which I will get to. And you have the higher tier, so you have the 400 is the lower one, the 800 is the higher one, and the higher one is for $389.99. So, almost for practical... <laughs> we'll just call it $400, because I'm, I'm bound to say 400 at some point. So we'll just we'll just take that little logical step right now. Now the difference between the two is uh, the first one, the cheaper one, 400, only has four gig of RAM, and it only comes with one joystick or pad. Uh, I think it's the the pad because the 800 comes with eight gig of RAM, and it comes with a sort of modern controller pad and a classic Atari stick with an extra button in there. Uh, either USB or Bluetooth and rechargeable and they retail separately uh, 50 quid uh, 50 dollars for the stick or 60 dollars for the controller so outside of the prices you kind of like yeah okay, what that's I mean you could get a play for a few dollars extra you get a PlayStation Pro right PlayStation 4 Pro or an Xbox one X oh, God. The name in conjunction of Xbox always puts me off. I never know what one I'm talking about. Um, and we don't even know the prices for the next-gen consoles yet. So, I mean, there could be cut-down versions of... I mean, they could get a PlayStation 5 without a disk drive. And Microsoft confirmed there'll be two different versions. So a sort of more powerful one and a less powerful one. I mean, they could come pretty close to the more powerful version of the VCS. So what are, you, what are you paying for? What are you getting for your money? So if you look under the hood, uh, you will find a Ryzen-based chip. Um, I think it's an R6016G, something like that. And it doesn't have a graphics card. It uses the APU on the chip, which I have a couple of concerns about. Uh, it has, I'd say, 4 and 8 gig memory. Obviously, you'll want the 8 gig, if possible. Being a Ryzen chip, it likes memory. Although this memory is only running it, it's DDR4, but it's only running at 2400, which is not that fast for memory these days. Also, you are getting 32 gigabytes of storage on an eMMC, which is basically um, a hardwired in like camera card dealy, which isn't the fastest thing in the world. So we're just like, wow, you know, it's okay. Atari Classic games are like tens of kilobits each, maybe a hundred or something like that. I'd have to look to be able to. And you'd be right, except Fortnite isn't. The Fortnite launcher certainly isn't. And um, yeah, and they also say, well, it comes with a, a custom Linux kernel or Linux. If I haven't even say it. I, I, I've talked enough about Linux, or Linux, whatever. Uh, but Windows can take between 25 and 40 gig for an install, and they are saying you can install Windows on it. Luckily, they do have uh, 
a port for an external hard drive, so there's more money you need to add on if you want to do that with it. Because we all know, even if you install Windows bare, blow, bare bones and you get 7 gigs to play with, that just disappears. It just magically goes away as window bloats out during its lifetime until you reinstall it again. So it's not really, 7 gigs not enough of a buffer, even if you can get it to install at 25, which... Yeah, I'm not sure how you do that. I don't think I've ever installed Windows and had it take up 25 gig. So, there, there's the package we're getting. I mean, it was crowdfunded. It reached like 2.7 million euros, so it did well on crowdfunding. Apparently, there's been a few shady aspects to it, which I won't get into in this video. I just want to talk about the product rather than the sort of history of financing of the product. So, I thought to myself, well... That, that seems like really expensive to me. Does it seem expensive to you? Because, yeah, it seems expensive to me when you're talking about 8 gig of RAM, which is bare bones these days for any sort of gaming PC, and an APU which is an embedded APU. What that means is it's designed for applications like kiosks and things like that. So you can't actually buy this chip because it comes sort of embedded into the motherboard, for lack of a term. I mean, I guess it would be a motherboard, right? Everything else would slot into it. There is, um, I have seen one report that it does have an M.2 slot on it, which is good. Uh, but I haven't seen anything official that it has an M.2 slot on it. So, it might have, it might not. I don't wanna, don't wanna hedge any bets there. But again, you just don't need to buy the drive to fit the slot, even if it has it. So, cost goes up again. So, I was wondering, okay. What might you get that's an equivalent of that for and for how much? So my first thought, like any sensible gentleman, was to look on Amazon and have a look uh, for budget gaming PCs. So I'll put it up on screen. I found one for £180, which is a Dell Optiplex, like 90% of the used PCs you get for cheap are. Um, which isn't good. I certainly wouldn't recommend it to anybody because... Yeah, Dell is a bastard to upgrade because they use a lot of proprietary parts and some of the internal architecture is super weird which prevents you putting anything else in it pretty much. But it doesn't give me very much details on the actual processor. It has a quad core, uh, which is two cores more, but I don't know how many threads it will have. So I can't, the RAM is only DDR3, you get eight gig of it. But it does have a GT1030. Now this is where one of my concerns about that APU comes in. Uh, this will output, I think it's 1.1 teraflops, whereas the APU in the VCS will do, I think it's 0.46. Yeah, 0.46. So this GT1030 is twice as powerful, from a, a, just strictly a graphical point of view. And of course, being an APU, it's going to reserve some of the system RAM for itself as well. Which, again, having that take up RAM from a Ryzen chip isn't always the best idea. It's probably, it's probably less of a terrible idea because the RAM slows, so your performance is going to be shuttered off a bit anyway. But, yeah. So, you can pay £180 for that. And just plug it in your tele. And do, you know... The things you do on PC to run games. <laughs> like Atari games. So then I thought, okay, so what if I didn't want to muck around with Fortnite or any of that bullshit? What if I just wanted to play Atari Classics on it? You know, the sort of core idea of it. Well, another Amazon search. These are in pounds, these prices, I will preface that, but I mean, I think. I think it's 310, 310 pounds is the conversion rate on the top end one. But to be fair, in the UK we very often get one to one conversion rates between us and the US on electronic goods, uh, which sucks, but it makes my job at the moment easier, right? So, so anyway, so if you want that, we have what I've put up on screen now. I found within 30 seconds of looking on Amazon, it's a more expensive one, in fact. I, I, I pushed the boat out of it. So we have a Boom Atari Flashback 9 console featuring 110 games. That's 10 more than the VCS. 
you, well, nine more because you don't get the the retool version of um, Missile Command. Uh, so updated retro, okay, you get ten, 110 built-in games, Space Invaders, Frogger, Frog, many more classics, blah, blah, blah. You get two controllers. So it, it's matching the top end one in that. And it's £75. And free shipping. Oh. So, yeah. So if you want, that, that seems like pretty good. I mean, for argument's sake, we will, we will call it one to one pound versus dollar because it usually is. So you're saving, you know, 325 pounds? Seems like a good deal to me. And I thought, wait, what if you have a PC? You don't even have to be a good PC, right? You just, just a little one you knock out spreadsheets on. What could you do then? Well, what you could do then is if you go on Steam, like here, pay £6.99 and get the Atari Vault, which is going to feature on the VCS with all of the games. A hundred of the most iconic Atari games from the 70s and 80s. Now with online multiplayer capability, the extensive catalog includes classic Atari titles like Asteroid Centipede, Mr. Man, blah 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 blah. Paired with you know, intuitive new controls. <coughs> I guess that means not a really, really stiff choice. But there's more! For an additional £4, you can get 50 more games. Ooh, so now we're up to 150. That sounds pretty good. But wait, Lee, you say, you, you bloody fool. You're missing something. You're missing something, sir. What can I be missing? What is it? Well, it's a PC, so you, you could play Fortnite on it. Ah! Oh, the remastered Missile Command game. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Yeah, here it is. Yes, uh, Missile Command Recharge is the exact one that's going to be on the VCS. £2.09 pence on Steam. So instead of spending £400, I'm spending £9-ish. That seems like a pretty good deal. I'm just saying. Or at the end of the day, I could be the typical PC owner, download a very lovely emulation package called Stella, go online, find a zipped and compressed archive of every single Atari game, and download that. And I've saved 400 pounds. You know what? I'm liking that last one most of all. <laughs> anyway, guys, so basically what you're paying for is a poor PC. But I, w I wanted to push the bow out. I wanted not to leave any stone unturned. Any stone. Because, um,. An idiot. So I thought, well, I've talked about pre built I've talked about retro consoles, I've, I've talked about buying games on an existing PC. What if I was to build as close as I could to the specs of the VCS? So I took a little trip to uh, Retro Park Retro Park Picker, that would be amazing. PC Park Picker. And uh, I've come up with a little list, I've done it on the American site, so it is in dollars, so we don't have to worry about conversions or assumptions here. Uh, I will forewarn you, I am not an AMD guy, so the processor I picked may or may not be equivalent. I mean, I'm sure one of you guys could tell me in the comments that is an AMD guy. I had a bad experience with an Athlon and swore off them many moons ago. I hear they're pretty good nowadays, but that doesn't mean I know anything about them. So, only what Linus tells me, anyway. So, as a CPU, I picked the AMD A69500E, which actually is a little faster. It's a store dual-core processor, uh, but instead of 2.6, it's 3 gigahertz. <coughs> Excuse me. And that runs for 67.88, delivered. For my other board, I had no idea, so I got it to suggest me one, and I picked, like, relatively cheap one from that. With a Gigabyte GA A320M Micro ATX AM4 motherboard, uh, which is 58.98 delivered. For the memory, the VCS doesn't have dual um, dual channel, so I only bothered getting one stick. So I bought the G-Skill Aegis 8 gig 
DDR4 2400, so it's the same speed, the same DDR4, and that was $28.99. Uh, I had a bit of trouble with the EMMC though, because obviously that's not going to be viable for a bill. So I thought I'd get a 32 gig solid straight drive. Unfortunately, that's too low. I couldn't get a 32 gig solid state drive. So I had to get a 120 gig solid state drive. And that was 19.98 delivered. Finally, case, don't care about case, so I just put the cheapest one, 37.96 delivered. It's 7.99 that being delivered for this. That's like quarter. And finally, a thermal take smart 500 watt 80 plus certified 80 gigs power supply. I'm assuming will be alright with the micro ATX board. I've never built one of micro ATX. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go over some probably okay that will connect on somewhere. If not, I'm sure there'll be one of the equivalent cars. Because this wasn't actually the cheapest one. Um, I just couldn't find it in myself to buy a power supply that wasn't at least 80 plus certified. And thermal tape aren't too bad. I've had thermal tape power supplies, supplies before and they've done alright. So, and that was 44 99 delivery. So I've managed to make the equivalent, I'm assuming this is equivalent anyway, the, uh, the, the CPU, the equivalent system to a VCS with a massive boost in what it's able to store on it. Uh, this is probably a surplus of power for it. And it's going to be a lot more upgradable than the VCS itself. Uh, if I'm not wrong about this, it, it does have... Oh god, what's it called? I keep forgetting it. It's, it's the something free. It's, it's the APU. It's the third APU. You know, the ones I mean. Uh, and it's got a faster core clock. It is a dual core, as I say, but I'm not sure about the threads. So I think the, uh, the VCS chip has four threads. So, mm. But as I say, not sure about that one. But, you know, the core clock's faster. So that's better, right? <laughs> Assuming I'm correct about the rate, anyway. So for 258.78, we built it basically, and then obviously nine pound on top for the Atari game that you want to play, and for that's fucking free. So whatever. And of course, you just bang that in the back of your TV. You don't need a monitor, and any game control laying about will do the job. Whether it's a PlayStation or an Xbox, you or a Switch. Pro controller, you can just wire those right in your PC and they will work. No problem, and probably better than the stick that they're offering. Because I mean, the 2600, the Atari 2600 was my first console. Well, it was Dad's first console, technically. I just happened to be able to play on it when I was like six or something. Yes, I'm old. Get over it. Um, you know, so. I am pretty much the target audience. I, I am the person that started their gaming life off on a 2600. You know, there'll be games on there that I played when I was six, and I'll be like, ooh. But I'm already because I installed Stella. <laughs> I mean, if it was a hundred quid or a hundred bucks, you know, something in the range of like the other mini consoles that have come out. I wouldn't be too upset with it. I think would still think it's a lot of money to play Atari games when you consider that you can buy numerous things that have Atari games, like much like NES games. You can buy yourself a little handheld for like twenty quid. Dollars. Whatever. God, why can't we just have one currency? Oh no, that doesn't work. We've seen the Euro. Anyway. <laughs> so it just doesn't make sense to me anyway they slice it, but I would find it forgivable that for that if you want I mean it's a, it, it looks okay. I mean you've got like you got three different types. You've got like a wood panel one, you've got a black one and you've got a gold one. I'm not sure about the gold one, but the other two look alright. Uh, but it depends where you buy them from. They're not taking orders from the UK. It's pretty much just a US thing at the moment. Which is why I haven't got any prices for the UK yet. And perfectly honest, I don't think it's going to sell well. I think you'll get the little sort of uh, the people with more money than sense that just want another box to stick in their bookshelf next to all their other consoles and retro gamey bits. Which is fine, you know, they're collectors out there, but I don't think they're going to make up 
the sort of bulk of the purchases. Because for me, like, if I bought something like that, it would be for a really young kid, you know. Four or five, just starting to get into computer games, you know, build up hand-eye coordination before I let them loose on an expensive PlayStation console. But this costs as much as a PlayStation console, so it kind of takes it out of the market for that. Anyway, guys, please let me know down below, A, if I've completely cocked up the processor. I mean, to be fair, I could afford to add easily over £100 to the budget, or $100, uh, if I need to, and still come in cheaper. So, there's that, right? <laughs> so, I could probably beat, if, if I gave myself, like, the full budget of the $400, I could smash the VCS <laughs> with a built PC. I mean, obviously you have to build it, but I mean, there's not even a graphics card, man. It's not that tricky when you look at it that way. It's probably the trickiest thing. Be, I mean, the, the oh, I just will say the the processor also comes with its own cooler, so I didn't have to bother about that. I did initially do it, and then I thought, hang on a minute, I better check. You know, it comes with a cooler, so I took it off. So I saved myself a tenner there. <laughs> or whatever, ten buckos. Freedom bucks or whatever. <laughs> so yes, let me know down below if I have managed to cock up that process is spectacular. Um outside of that, let me know if you plan on buying one and why. Because I just don't see any real reason to do such a thing. Because you'd be insane. There's a lot of screaming going on outside, and it sounds like little girls. I, I promise it's nothing to do with me this time. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. If you didn't, you think I'm full of shit and the VCS is the boss, give me a thumbs down. But please tell me why. Because I'd like to have an argument with you, because you seem insane. <laughs> anyway, take it easy, guys. I'll catch you next time.